you guys today about how I completely tanked my milk supply and how I think my full-time breastfeeding journey has definitely come to an end now don't get me wrong I am still breastfeeding because I will not stop breastfeeding until at least he's at least a year and a half even if that means I'm only breastfeeding once or twice a day that still makes me very happy and I'm going to keep doing that for as long as I need to or as long as I can I guess it's really upsetting because I started Maddox off at, on solid foods at four and a half months which is what my doctor wanted me to do and I completely regret that because as soon as I started f feeding him solid foods my milk supply obviously started to drop and when your milk supply starts to drop the way you can keep it up is by pumping yeah. but breast pumping <laughs> that much in a day is really difficult like I have a baby I don't have time to be pumping left right and center and it's not like he's an easy baby like he always wants to be held he always wants to be cuddled so that's fine he's a baby and I expect that but it's hard to pump on the side and then when he's napping I want to have the house clean and I need to maintain or I need to make him lunch or breakfast or whatever so Pumping was really difficult for me and that obviously made my milk supply start to drop Then when he was six months old, I decided to sleep train now I sleep trained because he was waking up like every hour It was ridiculous like I was getting no sleep at a night and it was just not good for me And it wasn't good for him either because he didn't know how to self-soothe and he needed to wake up all the time And that's no good for him either like I wanted him to be able to sleep all night every night And I know a lot of moms are like completely against sleep training like oh my god You're the devil you let your baby cry like I'm sorry Yes, I let my baby cry a little bit so I could sleep train him But it's not like I left him in his room and closed the door and walked away and was like okay have fun no I didn't do that a lot of moms do try the cried out me method and that's what a lot of I find older doctors try to tell you to do but the way I sleep trained I actually have a video on it so I can link that video down below if you guys are interested um, the way I eased myself into it was pretty good and it required a lot of whining not so much crying there was no like hysterical moments where he was like gasping for air or freaking out it was pretty good like my sleep training was pretty good and he was comfortable and now guess what my son sleeps 12 hours a night and uh, that is great for me and that is great for him after I started sleep training and he started sleeping through the night I wasn't pumping through the night either so all my night feeds went away so after a couple weeks my milk supply just kept going down and down even more and more and I noticed even during the day it was going down I tried for like a week or so to just pump as much as I could and take Domperidone again and I'm still taking like fenugreek and blessed thistle just to keep me going with the breast milk that I do need but I started supplementing with formula and he's also eating breakfast lunch and dinner so the way my breastfeeding journey is going right now is I breastfeed him in the morning when he wakes up and then I feed him breakfast and I usually breastfeed him again before a nap but sometimes he's not interested in breastfeeding during the day he's more interested in like this whatever he's doing right now he's more interested in the toys or chairs or objects that I'm using or remotes and stuff like that so he's always distracted and I've even tried to sit myself down in a quiet dark room and breastfeed but he doesn't seem interested in that either and there was actually a point when he was like seven and a half months old there was another point that made me start like pumping a lot and really start getting back into breastfeeding because he went on a nursing strike so he literally only breastfed once in the morning and then anytime during the day I tried to feed him he just would not do it he would pull off and he would cry and he would just get very frustrated so my full-time breastfeeding journey has come to an end because of those things and there are many ways to avoid these things and you don't have to stop breastfeeding full-time you can pump and you can take medication to keep your milk supply going and you can continue to feed your baby through the night that's just totally up to you guys and what you want to do personally for me right now I enjoy my sleep quite a bit breastfed him exclusively for four and a half months until I started feeding him solid foods 
and I kept feeding him only breast milk and solid foods until about seven and a half months and that's when I started supplementing with formula. I only give him like eight ounces a day so that's all he wants like I offer him two or three bottles a day and he usually doesn't finish them so that just makes me know like yes he is still getting enough breast milk and he's definitely getting enough solid food and I know that breast milk or formula should be the main source of nutrition until he is 12 months old so that is what I try to do I try to make sure he's getting a bottle or being breastfed all the time before he eats ah, yes you do what is that can you stop can you stop trying to touch it what are you doing there are some mistakes I made that I will not be making for my next baby and I just wanted to let you guys know about those because there are certain ways you can avoid these things. If you guys want more information or you are curious as to how you can avoid these things, just please comment down below and I will either make another video or I will answer your questions and let you guys know how you can avoid tanking your milk supply like I did. Thank you so much for watching guys. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You guys know what to do. Yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Say bye. Bye.